what started me on this was, well, I saw the, um, these little ones, these, these nails. Um, they had like these things on them. I never knew what they were for. And so I was in the garage and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to make a little tea sword. And so I made it. It looked horrible, but, you know, I came off of it for a while. Then I came back and I was like, I can make this work. And so I got them and I beefed them up. So the first, the newest, or the oldest one is about that one, I think. Um, it was the first one that I really did, restored. Uh, I actually, there's still some in the garage that are older than it, but the first one I gave to one of my friends, and it was, it looked pretty good, I, I have to say. It was really small, though. Um, yeah, I just built off of that. Um, eventually I started incorporating, you know, fur and, like, uh, sheaths and stuff. Putting, putting, uh, hand guards on the swords, and I, I always thought it was way cool to, you know, put stuff on other things. And so, eventually I was like, oh, hey, I'm doing all this stuff, why not, you know, actually try it? And so I made, you know, real knives. They haven't been tempered or anything yet, but... I'm waiting to do that so I can sharpen them. And then I went on to shields. There's one shield. I've been thinking about making a Viking shield. But I realized, hey, I'm doing all these swords. Why don't I make knives? And so I made all those knives with the block on it. There's only two. This one, the cleaver, put it in there like that. And there's the, um, Chef knife, put it in like that. Looks, looks like that. So these right here, they are popsicle sticks, and I drilled holes in the metal, and then I put some some uh, spokes in through the holes, and then I got the popsicle sticks and drilled the holes in the exact same spots, and then I got hot glue and put them in the middle, but it was. It didn't squish together right, so when I was grinding on these sides right here, it actually melted the glue, and so it actually got a really good, you know, fit on there. So, and then you just shape it, and though they're just, you know, made the blanks out of the nails, they shaped them through the nails, and then put the handles on. Oh, that one, it was, you know, okay, so... About the diameter of this nail in the middle right here, I'd um, drill a hole through a piece of metal right here, and I filed the sides on this, like on this piece of metal, and then um, I'd put the piece of metal that I drilled the hole the same size as that, and then I hammered it on these sides so it's squished, and it, it has a really good fit on there, because it just squished together, and it's in the grooves. That fits into this sheath right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was kind of really like bored and not wanting to make any knives. And so I was like, hey, I want to do something that's, you know, worthy of awesomeness. And so I made scissors that are very small. And they function too, like you can cut. Yeah. You can cut paper with it, right? Yeah. It's very can we see can we see a demonstration? Hard. <laughs> They're not very good scissors, but they work. See? It's actually the ring I did yesterday. Um, there's a lot of techniques on YouTube. I just got a, a piece of aluminum. I drilled a circle that was, or I shaped a circle that was about that big. Put it on the anvil and tapped it, like going like this. It's like, and then it slowly flared out really big. And then you drill a hole in the middle, and then you file it, and then you actually you put it on like a drill and then polish it up. Um, you know, put the metal polish on it and stuff, and then, you know, shape it, 
And it's a really, it's a good ring, see? Just, yeah. The shield was, it took about three days to make. It wasn't very easy. <laughs> so I got this piece of aluminum. It was about um, that big. And I shaped it on um, a piece of paper. And got marker and ground it off. Put it on the anvil and hammered it right here on the part where it's an L going through up onto the anvil. And then... And then you, I drilled the holes all the way around the whole shield, and I hammered out these for nails, and then I just put these through. These were actually going to be gold, but I got the grinder and I was just going to shape right here, or I was going to, I was going to shine up right here, and then it kind of nicked off all the gold paint on these nails, and there's no gold on them anymore. <laughs> so yeah, and I put leather on it, and... I never soldered. I never soldered any of these actually. I soldered or welded. Didn't do any of that. So yeah. And then I made this box. You can carry most of them. Has you know, that's that was the, actually the nails that were gonna be on the shield. But yeah, really poofy in there. I was thinking about staining this actually. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. And then I made this for, I don't know, just reasons. Put a rock in there and it looked pretty cool. That's uh, just a, like a wristband or something? Yeah, this was the rock actually. Let's see. Yeah. It'll be a pretty good bolt right there. Everybody asks about that. <laughs> but yeah. I made that for seminary because it was like a uh, reminder thingy. Cool, and then show me the stool that you made. Uh, I made that a couple days ago. It's not very good, but, you no. Know, it's pretty fun to make. All right, my chair broke in here, and then I needed something to make, or I needed something to sit on, so. I also made that one right there. It's sitting under all that. That one was for chainmail, actually. Um, three chainmail. Here's the chainmail. Let's make all of this. Where did you get the rings? Um, I actually rolled them out on uh, a dowel. What you do is you drill a hole at the end of a metal dowel, and then you put on a drill, and you put the wire in the hole, and you put it through the drill, and it winds up the whole thing, and you can clip it, and then you bend them together, and it makes these really nice rings. How long did this take? Uh, this took like a couple weeks actually. It wasn't very easy. Then again, I was kind of, you know, complacent about it. Wasn't really dedicated to it. If I was dedicated to it, it'd probably be finished in a month or two. In a month or two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it actually is smaller, so smaller than the others that people do. And so it took a lot longer than normal. Then again, have some smaller ones in here. I think, yeah, they're smaller a little bit. Yeah, these are all just a bunch of different kinds I've done. So, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned that you had a forge? Yeah, it was, it's outside actually. What I did was I made a good frame, put the fan on it, going into this, actually drilled holes on all sides, and then made a really big hole for the pipe going into this. And this stuff on the bottom is a 50-50 mix of plaster, Paris, and sand. It just didn't work right here because it was too runny. And so I just drilled it through in here so it, was, it wouldn't heat up that. So you put plaster, Paris, and sand. Mm -hmm as like a, a layer just to protect it from the heat or what? Yeah, the, the pan as itself isn't very good at um, being sturdy like 
if if I just had the pan, it would melt through the pan. Mm -hmm. And so, well, I could have just the pan, but it wouldn't last as long. But yeah, that was this one. And the first forge I had, that I have this. It was two cinder blocks propped up in a V shape, and it you can see right here. The fan was going about right here, and I'd fired it up, I don't know, five or six times, and actually the cinder blocks had started to melt from the heat into glass, and this is all glass from all the cinder blocks, the cinder blocks I end. And so, yeah, I just used normal coal, and there's my anvil. But I forged the two knives with that. The the railroad tie knife and the other one. The other one, or the railroad tie one, my friend actually started it off. He actually twisted the railroad tie to make the handle and he actually, you know, got it into a good shape then handed it to me because he didn't know what to do with it because it was, it was a weird shape. And so I shaped it out and made it look pretty nice. So this fan plugs in and it blows air to provide oxygen for the for the fire mm -hmm. and then uh, you just put the mail the metal in the heat till it gets hot enough and then you pound it out on the anvil mm -hmm. that goes pretty well for you huh yeah